tradition in camp, and now that Andy Reid is head coach, it's actually happening twice while the team is in St. Joe. And we're talking about the barbecue that Zarda caters every summer and again today. Karen Granacki was at the Blue Springs restaurant as they prepared all that food for tomorrow's big meal. For the 26th year, Zarda will once again be going to Chiefs training camp to feed the players. Check out some of the things they're bringing. They're bringing 45 pounds of beans. They're bringing 60 pounds of cheesy corn. And when it comes to burn ends, that's 80 pounds. And that's just the beginning of the menu. These players can eat, even though the menu has changed just a little over the years. Cheesy corn is moving way up the charts. Uh, at the same time, so there's chicken breast, so there's like a, a little bit of healthy thing going on and a little bit of splurge. I think they do look at this as a splurge meal. Um, ribs are still and always going to be popular. But I think some of the tweaks is we have seen a little bit more healthy items on the meal. A lot of turkey, a lot of chicken breast, uh, but they still like the fun stuff too. You aren't going to run out of coleslaw, are you? We, we actually realize that coleslaw is a part of the menu. We've got more than enough coleslaw for three meals. Okay, it takes a lot of work to put a meal like this together, but you're feeding people who are really hungry up in camp. The offensive linemen lead the team in eating, but guess who comes in second? The quarterbacks. I'm serious, the quarterbacks like to eat. They will have a feast tomorrow when Zarda comes up to St. Joe. That's it from here. Karen Kornacki, KNBC 9 News. Boy, talk about that coleslaw just won't die. Zarda will also be catering a meal for the team at camp on August 11th.